Good evening, Booktube. This is Johnny. Uh, I made a video this afternoon and I said I was going to make a video tonight or I was thinking about it and so I decided to make a video because I have some books that I have acquired for our library. Uh, I think I got most of these from a thrift store and the book nook, the library used bookstore. As far as my diary, my January 2018 diary, I ended it today on page 29. The other night when I said I was on page 223. I meant 23, not 223. I have not written 223 pages in the first month of the year. I've only written thus far 29 pages in the year 2018. So tomorrow morning, January the 13th, 2018, I'll be on page 30. If the Lord does not come back during the night, in the world, we go into eternal state, the, the day of judgment, the day of reckoning. Like I said, today is January the 12th, 2018. It's a Friday. It is 9.03 here in West Michigan. I showed you that I was reading the new book I got in the mail the other day, God's Glory and Salvation Through Judgment of Biblical Theology by James M. Hamilton Jr. This is his other book that I've had. This is called God's Indwelling Presence, the Holy Spirit in the Old and New Testaments by James M. Hamilton Jr. This came out a while back. There's a whole series of these. I should show them. This came out in 2006. Also, I got out a book I bought. Oh, this came out in... 2015 Gospel of Glory Major Themes in the Johannian Theology by Richard uh, Buchan, Buckham, Buchan, Buckham. So I've been looking at these for devotions and just for to as I read the Bible and as I meditate and as I meditate I go into a state of contemplation contemplative silence so that's what I've been reading. Uh, yeah, like I went to the... Well, first of all, I'll show you the books from the book nook. As I've said, uh, Wednesday, uh, me and some other volunteers from the book nook went to this house where uh, a person who had died and left had uh, 900 books that the family of the deceased wanted to donate to the uh, library used bookstore so we packed 900 books and I, as I mentioned there were a lot of books in that collection that I want and I have been told that I will be able to look at those when they are sorted so I look forward to that but and after I did that I had to cover for somebody from three o'clock till five on Wednesday at the book nook and at the book nook I got these books. Uh, I bought these. Well, first, my free book was this book, Wednesday, Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. I have her book, Arcadia, that I bought a couple years ago. And uh, I, bought, I got this for a free book. And I bought this book uh, on grander scale, Outstanding Life of Christopher Wren by Lisa Jardin. I have her other book in our library, which is called Worldly Goods, A New History of the Renaissance. I have by her in our library. And then I bought this book. Uh, it's a biography called Painted Shadow, The Life of Vivian Elliott, the first wife of T.S. Elliott, and the long suppressed truth about her influence on his genius. I've been reading a, a book going into the composition of T.S. Eliot's uh, famous poem, The Wasteland, and in that account of him uh, 
writing that poem, his first wife is mentioned, so I got this to read more about her. So I got those Wednesday. Today I picked up these. I, uh, as I've shown in the past, I've been collecting the Patrick O'Brien series on, uh, this is the, uh, These are a series of books. Uh, well, the first one, let me see. I think the, the first one, the, there's like 20 volumes. And it says here, this is the first in a splendid series of Jack Aubrey novels, establishes the friendship between Captain Aubrey R.N. and Stephen Matterin, ship's surgeon, intelligent, intelligence, intelligence, agent against the thrilling backdrop of the neo uh, napoleonic wars so this is a whole series and i've been collecting them and somebody donated a bunch of them and i bought them today i bought uh, this is volume 18 the yellow admiral by patrick o'brien this is volume 20 the blue at mizen the commodore Ver Volume 17. This is Volume 16, The Wine Dark Sea by Patrick O'Brien. This is Volume 15, the, the True Love. This is Volume 14, The Nutmeg of Constellation. The 13th Gun Salute. This is Volume 13 I got. I got Volume 12, The Letter of Mark Quick. And The Far Side of the World by Patrick O'Brien, the, the Treasures, The Treason's Harbor. The, those are the ones I picked up today. And I almost completed the collection. I think I'm missing five. So yeah, I got those. So I'm only missing three, four, and five in the series so I got those well some I already had I got it through stores over the last couple couple of years I started collecting them I already I started collecting when I bought this biography on Patrick O'Brien a life revealed Patrick O'Brien by Dean King and I had some novels by Patrick O'Brien he wrote not only that series but testimonies a novel and then I have a the short stories, the ron rendezvous. So yeah, so that's what I got at the book nook as far as this store. Well, today when I was at the book nook from 10 to 1, I read the Atlantic uh, magazine. This is October 2017 edition. So I read that today. I, oh, I also got uh, Wednesday this novel by uh, called Challenge by Vita Sackville West. So I got that. And I've been reading this off and on. At the thrift stores, I picked up this week the novel The Girls by Emma Klein. This is, has been on, in the news a lot. And I, it's been at this thrift store for a, a while. And I finally just said, hey, I'll just get it. And then I got this book, The War Lovers, Roosevelt, Lodge, Hearst, and the Rush to Empire, 1898 to, by Evelyn Thomas. I found out I already had this, so I'll take this. No, I already took my extra copy to the book note. So, so yeah, that's what I got as far as books to add to our library. Uh, and like I said today, I read The Atlantic, I read Challenge, v Veta Sackville West. She lived at the time of the Bloomsbury Group, Virginia Woolf, that whole, uh, whole time period. This was first published in, oh, what was this first published? I think it was published in 1924. She's British. So I got that. I have her biography. 
I have other novels by her. I have a novel on her marriage and uh, other books about her and by her. So that's it. I don't know what I'm going to read tonight. Uh, like I said, I was reading most of the day. I read God's Glory and Salvation Through Judgment of Biblical Theology. So, yeah, I don't know if I can get into anything secular tonight. It's only 9.12. I don't go to bed until usually 11 o'clock. And I don't feel like... Uh, I don't watch TV, and I don't feel like listening to music. And so I might just sit here. Either I'll read or I'll sit in the dark and watch the candle. Think about what I read today and here and meditate upon it. Tomorrow is a Saturday and Sunday is football again, the playoffs. So yeah, so I hope you'll have a good weekend and I'll sign off. I can't think of anything else I wanted to say. So I'll say good night. Bye.